If you search for sciatica exercises, you might see some programs that say bending forward is a great activity for this condition. But then a few articles later, you might actually come across an article that will say that the exact same stretch is terrible for sciatica pain and can in fact make things worse. And this can often be confusing as well as frustrating, which this entire situation does bring up the question is forward bending, also known as flexion, good for sciatica? My answer to this is that it truly depends. The benefit of forward bending is actually going to be dependent on the cause of sciatica pain in the first place. If your sciatica pain is actually related to arthritis or a narrowing of the foramen or the openings of the spine for the nerve, then forward bending could actually help. And as a result, every time the spine bends forward, it actually opens up the spine in the areas allowing the nerves that combine to form the sciatic nerve to actually move more freely. And what would a forward bend stretch look like? It would be something like a gentle bend forward and touch your toes or getting into what I call a double knees to chest, which is like assuming the cannonball position when you're on your back. But we also need to consider the function and anatomy of the discs in the spine. And so if your pain is actually caused by a herniated disc, which can often be diagnosed via MRI and how your body is moving, then forward bending might not actually be the best option. If we look at how the disc functions in the spine, forward bending may actually worsen the disc bulge and put more pressure on the nerve. But this is also very dependent on the direction of the herniation where that bulge is happening. And so these two conditions, arthritis and discs, can also be present at the same time, which can be even more confusing and frustrating. And we can get confirmation of these changes in the spine itself via an MRI, which can actually assess soft tissues and bones and identify what are some of the causes of pain. But the ultimate test to see if forward bending is going to help you out is seeing actually how your body responds to the movement itself. If the pain improves, then it could be a fantastic stretch for you. But if the pain worsens, then it might not be the best stretch for you for now. Pain relief doesn't have to be complicated, and the great news is that you are the best advocate for your relief.